Shalom, shalom. This week's Parsha is Nitzavim. And just like always, it really connects to the theme and the concept and the idea that is prevalent at this time on the Jewish calendar. Um, we are about to go into Rosh Hashanah, Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday. And the high holidays are really about um, extending life, extending our life um, and the good life, a life of blessing for the future year to come. And in Parshat Nitzavim, Moshe goes over the blessings and the curses, and he says, and he adjures the Jewish people time and time again to follow in God's ways and to choose life. And there's a beautiful Pasuk at the end of Nitzavim that I'd like to read to you and talk about for a little bit. And it's talking, Moshe is saying how they will eventually, the nation will stray and not follow in God's ways, but he still tries to convince them to stay on the path as long as possible. And he tells them, um, this is a mid-thought, And it's really, really, I, I think, very powerful because he's, he's telling them, because he wants them to live and to choose life. He says, you should to love Hashem, your God, to listen to his voice and cleave to him, for he is your life. Chayacha, I want to talk about that. And the length of your days, orach um, to dwell on the land that Hashem swore to your forefathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov, Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov, Jacob. So I want to talk about this, that God is Chayacha, God is your life. He's talking to every single Jewish soul was there, was, was with Moshe. And he's telling each person that God is your life and God is the length of your days. Now, what does that mean? And this attaches to the whole concept um, of Rosh Hashanah, where God had created the, the beginning of the creation of, of the world and God created Adam and he blew into him the breath of life. This is what animates man, what gives man life is the breath of God within every single human being. We all are created with a piece of God and that is our life. There is God within us and that's what gives us life. That is the goodness that gives us life. And what does it mean, the orach yamecha, the length of your days? Now, what I want to talk about is, and, and Moshe says this, he says, when you um, want to do tshuva, when you want to come back, when you want to come back to your authentic self, okay? Because that's what tshuva is, is returning to your authentic self, not even necessarily for someone who's strayed and done sins, which we all do, um, but it's getting, even if we haven't done wrong, so to speak, it's finding who you are to return to the essence of who we are. And that is the God within us. And when we connect to that goodness and we do what is right, and how do we know what's right? We follow in God's ways and those ways are the, are the right uh, tzedek and mishpat and all the mitzvot that God gives us um, for us, between us and man, between us and God, all of this is makes enhances our life. And length of days, I mean, every day is the same, as far as I know, same amount of time um, exists. Uh, it doesn't change. How can a day be longer or shorter? But when you um, get in touch with the God within you, when you do things in a godly manner, right? Um, that is something that is eternal. When we waste our day away, we're not doing anything worthwhile, um, you know, or even, God forbid, we're doing wrong things. We're destroying our days. We're taking away from the time that God gave us. But when we do good things and we connect um, to God and either, uh, you know, spend the time in it could be a study and prayer but it could mean helping others there's all sorts of ways to do good things that make this world a better place 
that is everlasting because if you're using the god within you that's something you're connecting to that goes on forever that's something you know they say with every material thing you can't bring it with you well you know what when you do good and when you really expand on the goodness of who you are that's something that lasts forever um i think you know one once a person dies with the neshama that goes to a higher level but also on this earth good you know just reverberates outward and um it's something that either you know people are remembered for the good that they did so it's it's something that's kind of everlasting that way or the effects of a good deed i mean we don't know how far it goes it just it lengthens it like everything that that is good um you know continues to grow um as we've seen i mean everybody knows that and so moshe says that you should um because god is he is your life right Chayacha, the god within us that is our life for us and and the length of our days um and this is really what i'm what I'm saying is what rosh hashanah is all about and it's interesting because moshe says the kolo to listen to God's call is voice. And we know that Rosh Hashanah is about listening to the call of the shofar. Okay. But the call of the shofar, we say, well, that's not God's voice. That's right. That comes from man that he's blowing from his breath of life that God infused within him. And he's sending out that sound into the world. But you know what? It's connected because that breath of life that gives off that that blow that gives off that sound it comes from god so it's a returning it's a returning of what is ours out there and into the into the atmosphere and we hear we hear that pure nishama of our own that untainted pure nishama that is the god within and we can hear so to speak something godly and that really should touch our souls and remind us um, of who we are, that we are, we are godly creatures. And if we act in that way, we lengthen our own days and God gives us that power. So yes, we turn to God and ask him because God is the only one who can give or take life, but we're, we're really a partner with God. And if we tap into that, uh, if we really tap into that, to that still small voice, um, and it lengthens our days you know people go all it's a very popular thing now um meditation and the quiet and connecting um and what that really is is connecting with the god within that's what it really is and people it, that do this they know that this gives them a sense of peace and and a, a still quiet that puts them in a good place and then they live a better life that way so uh really we're meant to connect with that on rosh hashanah and um get in touch with who we are uh, and have a blessed better life so i wish you a shabbat shalom and if i don't see you a shana tova everybody should be blessed with a um, good happy healthy new year with only good things shabbat shalom